Hey everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome back to Top Dog Tips. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to use dog clippers. Um, the first thing that you need to know is that you need to wash and dry your dog thoroughly before using clippers. You want to make sure that you have all the dirt, debris, anything that might be stuck there. If you have a longer hair dog, you have all the tangles and the mats out. So you want to wash and dry your dog, brush through their coat, and then um, you can use your clippers. I have these small ones that um, I am going to show, you know, do a demonstration with today. But um, you want to buy clippers if it's a dog that you're going to give a haircut to all the time. It's you want to buy clippers that are going to fit your dog. So if you have a smaller breed, you want to get smaller clippers. If you have a larger breed, then obviously you're going to want um, clippers that have a wider head than these do. Because, um, for example, if you have a giant like a Saint Bernard. Um, it's going to take you forever to clip their all of their fur with this um, pair. I use these clippers. I keep them in our dog first aid kit for uh, shaving around wounds, and that's something that you may need to do too. Um, so that's why mine are so small. When you do it, I recommend buying a quiet pair too. They make um, pretty much any kind of clippers that are made specifically for pets have a quieter motor so it doesn't scare your dog. Um, and then all you want to do is obviously turn on the clippers. Um, you may need to practice with your dog a little bit to get them used to the noise of the clippers, but um, obviously Chloe's used to them, so uh, it's fine. So when you're shaving your dog, I'm actually not going to shave Chloe because she doesn't need it, but um, you're going to just press. Um, you're going to start at the neck. You want to go from neck to back end and back legs. And ideally your dog would be standing up. Um, Chloe's not today. And you could always do it laying down if your dog's a little bit more fearful. So you want to start at the neck and just take the clippers, start here, and you want to go with the grain of the hair, with the way that the hair grows. You don't want to go against it. Um, you go with it. So you start at the neck and you go down and you make these nice long strokes. You don't want to press down. You're going to run the risk of cutting your dog if you do that. Um, go nice and slow. And um, going slow and clipping with the hair growth are going to be your best bet for not getting those weird lines. If you've ever shaved um, a person's head or an animal and you've gotten these strange uh, lines when you shave, it's because you're either going too fast or um, you're not going, you're going against the growth of the hair. So go with the growth of the hair, um, go in the direction that the hair grows. So like some of her hair grows down this way down her paw so it would start here um you know go down her back and then you're going to go this way um, and make smaller strokes when you get down here and um so you're going with the hair growth you're going nice and slow you want to do one side from the neck to the back end um and then if your dog's laying down obviously flip them over um, but most dogs will be standing so if he's standing you do one side kind of halfway down the back do one side neck to back end and both legs and then work on the other side um, and the other safety measure that I want to remind you of is clippers can get really hot after a while the head will start to get hot which makes um, the metal the metal blade of the clippers warm up and your dog can actually get burned that's such a really common thing that happens is that the dog gets burned from hot clippers so every couple of minutes just shut the clippers off and test them on your skin test them with your fingers or put just I usually just um, as I'm going along shaving, 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 I'll just shut them off and touch it on the other hand and you're right back to shaving. So it only takes a second um, to test that temperature. So if you guys have any questions about how to use dog clippers, I'd be happy to answer those for you. You can email me, samantha at topdogtips.com. Um, feel free to jump on our website and check out um, some of the other references that we have on there and some of the other how-to videos I posted. And uh, you can find us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter, Google+, um, Instagram. So uh, basically all, all social media, just get on there and search for Top Dog Tips and you'll find us. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.